In this video, I will show a way to take the placement from your schematics in KiCad and have that same placement show up in PCB new. Normally, when you import a netlist, your devices all basically show up in a what appears to be a random order, D9, D5, D8, D12. When we look on the schematic side, everything is ordered. One, two, three, four, and so on. Although this may not be your final placement, it's probably a better starting point than the random thing that you get in PCB new. To help me deal with this issue, I've put together a script that will read the schematics, get the placements of those locations, and then have those same placements reflected in PCB. Here's how to run it. Open up the scripting console and source the script. I will show how it works in a moment. Pointer to that will be down below in the description as well as on my blog. So now we see something that looks a lot like what we have in the schematic. And at this point, while I still need to do some work to clean up the placement, it's at least better than the rat's nest that I had before. How does it work? It's actually fairly simple. As always with PCB new scripting, you import PCB new, get a pointer to the board. I get a path to where the current PCB is. I change the extension to be the SCH file because that's the schematic. I then parse through that schematic looking for certain component uh, lines here. So in particular here, I see that we have the footprint location as well as the transform of that footprint. I have some regular expressions to do that parsing. I go through each one of them to identify the location as well as the transform. If you've rotated the device in the schematic, you also the script will also do the same thing on the uh, layout side. And then I simply go through each of the modules. If I can find a location for it from what I've just read in the schematic, I will then apply that position, apply the orientation, followed by a refresh. And with that, I have a better starting point to start my layout work. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to look at my blog for other tutorials on how to do PCB scripting. And please let me know how it goes for you.